Hi there, my name is Julie Slick. I'm a bass player and live looper. And I'm here today to show you how to use a Boss RC505 MK2 with a Keith McMillan or KMI Soft Step 2. Um, I was looking online uh, because I already had a Soft Step that I used to use with my Infinity Looper, my Pigtronics. And I recently just got one of these uh, Boss Loop Stations and I wanted to be able to use the gear that I already had to be able to operate it. Um, mainly because it's a tabletop looper. Me being a bass player, my hands are kind of occupied when I'm trying to make loops, so I needed to be able to have a foot switch work with this wonderful tabletop looper. So I wanted to make this video for you to show you how I made it possible um, without being too intimidating, hopefully, because it does involve MIDI, which is a little bit scary. I used to be very terrified of MIDI, but with a couple simple programs and uh, recommendations that I have for you, which I'll uh, link up at the bottom of this video, you can also loop with a Keith McMillan Soft Step and a Boss RC505. Uh, to get things started, there's a couple things that you'll need. Obviously, a Boss RC505 MK2 and a KMA Soft Step 2. Um, also, you'll need one of these MIDI expanders. Hopefully, I can get this in the frame uh, right here. Uh, the MIDI expander uh, basically makes a MIDI breakout for the soft step to be able to connect it to MIDI capable devices such as this looper. The way you want these things set up, you have this MIDI expander here, okay? You have this USB power uh, to a either a brick or I'm using it to plug into my power supply on my pedal board, which is an Eventide Psyox, um, which ha conveniently has a USB input. So I have this plugged in here. Um, you have a MIDI cable plugged into the MIDI out of this expander, which is plugged in here to the MIDI in of the RC505 because it's receiving the signal from the soft step, right? And then you have this expand USB cable plugged in to the uh, mini USB jack that's in the soft step itself. So yeah, you have the expand, which is plugged into this right here one of these usb shapes it comes with the with the pedal i believe so first things first we want to be able to send the right type of signal you know midi sends many different midi's a language it sends many different signals we want it to send cc commands because that's how we're going to talk to this boss looper here so the way i figured it out was i went into my soft step editor and I found a preset that um, sends CC commands. Um, so that way you don't really have to plug it into your computer and program it yourself. Just, I wanted to make this as plug and play as possible. So you use this navigation tool over here. And yes, my soft step is covered in cat hair because she loves to come in here while I'm trying to make loops. And no matter how much I clean it, there's always cat hair on it. So I apologize for that. Um, but you hit this navigation button over until you see. Now, I have edited mine, so it would say toggle right here, but I made it so that it says RC because I'm using it with the RC505. So we're just gonna keep toggling over, and there it is, the RC. So what this mode does is it sends the CC signals to the boss looper. And specifically, again, by opening up this advanced editor, I could find out what CC number corresponds to each of these buttons. And the way I have mine set up, which I think is very useful, is for one, two, three, four, five, uh, record and play back the five loops on the RC505, and then the top six through 10 or zero uh, to stop each loop. Because to me, those are the things that I really want to be able to do hands-free while I'm playing my bass. So, Button number one corresponds to CC command 21. Two is 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then this zero button is weirdly 20. I don't know why, but that's just the way it comes preset. So what we have to do now is go into the RC505 and tell it to what to do with these numbers so that it can accept these signals and uh, operate accordingly. 
Okay, so now we're looking at the RC505 interface. I have it set to um, one of my presets here, a song called, I have called Skypark. And we went into the menu here, okay? We scroll over to Assign, because that's where we're gonna find these MIDI Assign functions, okay? So when you get the pedal uh, just straight from the factory, all of these are gonna come uh, at a default of off. See how I have them turned on? So we're gonna make sure, like I said, they're gonna look like this off. We wanna turn on at least the first 10, right? Because we're trying to assign 10 different functions with 10 different buttons on the soft step. So we're gonna go through and turn on one through 10, okay? And you'll see I have 11 turned on as well. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, okay, so we're gonna click assign number one. Okay, and you wanna go over to source and it's gonna be all the way set way back to some other function, I think record play. We want the source to be that CC21 because that's gonna correspond to that first button number one on the soft step, okay? We want the mode to be set to moment, okay? And then we're gonna page over, and this is important here too. So we're gonna have the target function, it's gonna be defaulted, so this one's gonna be the easiest one to do. So track one, record play. Don't even have to turn that knob, it should be already preset for that. And then another important thing that I found is the min and the max both have to be turned on. If this is off, it's not gonna function properly. You're gonna to have to hit the, the button multiple times and that is extremely not useful uh, for live looping. So we wanna make sure both of these are turned on, okay? Okay, now we're gonna exit and go back into two. We're gonna make sure it's signed to CC22, moment. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn this knob here. It's gonna be set to track one record play. We're gonna just turn that knob all the way to the right until we get to track two record play. And again, we're gonna make sure that this minimum is set to on and the maximum should already be pre preset to on, okay? And we're gonna go through each and every one, three, four, and we're just gonna change 23, moment, track three, record play, four, 24, track four, record play. Make sure that's on, okay? And we're just gonna go through all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six. So by the time we get to six, that we're gonna change the function here. So we'll go to six. Remember, it's set to CC26, corresponds to button number six, moment. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make sure it's track one stop. Okay, and again, you can program these things to do whatever you want. There's like so many different functions you can control. You can make it undo, you can make it reverse, you can make it all stop. For me and my purposes, I think it's the most useful to just track one stop. That's what I recommend. And then make sure that button's turned on. Again, if that's off, it's, it's not gonna function properly. And then for seven, 27, moment, track two, stop, and then one thing to keep in mind is we're gonna go, you know, and so on and so forth, 28, 29. When we get to 10, remember, that one is weirdly CC 20, not 30, like you would expect it to be, because we're going up 21, 22, 23. For whatever reason, that zero button is 20. And then that's gonna be the track five stop. Now, something that I found um, with my other looper, my Pictronics Infinity, I use an expression pedal to be able to fade loops out. I think it's just a great uh, transition between songs to be able to fade a loop out and to keep playing all over top, you know, some live uh, signal, some bass signal. So I set 11 not to function with MIDI because I'm out of buttons on the soft step anyway, but you can actually assign expression here, okay? So I have the expression turned on as the source, expression one, because I have my expression pedal plugged into expression um, one right here and I have it set you have to keep scrolling all the way over to the right there's so many things you can control I found there's a loop level which is like your master loop volume for all five loops you have going at once which that is extremely useful for me to be able to fade out all the loops at the same time rather than like try to use my hand to do it myself um, and then again I have to use my hands okay so loop level 
and I have it set max to 100 because the default is going to be, I think, 200. I recommend keeping it 100 because then if you have your heel down or heel up, it's just going to mess up your uh, levels because if you have your heel level all the way down and it's like defaulting at 200, you're going to take the heel off and then all of a sudden it's going to jump in volume exponentially. So you really don't want that. Okay, that's how I have it set up. Now, very, very, very important. Once we've done all this programming, which is a little bit tedious, we're going to write the preset and we do that by hitting exit and enter at the same time. And then we hit that write button and then we hit enter again to save it. Now I recommend doing this. Now I'm just exiting out because I didn't want to save anything I may have accidentally changed. But the thing is, I would recommend setting your pedal up like this um, when you first get the unit um, before you have other presets um, saved into, into your loops because otherwise you're going to have to do this for every single preset memory bank that you have. It's very annoying. I had to do that. Um, so the thing that kind of stinks about this is it's not a global feature. So you have to save it to each and every single preset. So what I did, my solution for this was once I got to an empty bank, which was seven at the time, I believe, memory seven, um, I just started writing every single, okay, and I would hit enter. So once I did all that assigning, I just wrote it and hit enter. And then I wrote it again. And then I would just keep bumping up the preset number. And I just kept saving and then writing and then saving. So that way on all, I think there's 99 uh, memory banks on this thing. For all 99, I have my foot switch programmed to when I hit button number one. As you can see, it's gonna start playing. Okay, and then this button should stop it, right? Number six, as you can see, and same with two. There we go. There you have it. So hit me up with any questions that you have below in the comments. Um, I hope this video is informative for you. Like I said, I was, I was kind of frustrated because I couldn't really find anything online about how to make this work together. I saw a lot of things about the Nectar Pacer. So uh, for me, I really like the soft step um, just because it is durable, it's light, it's compact. I'm a touring musician. For me, having a piece of equipment that is uh, super light and relatively indestructible is super important to me. Um, so yeah, let me know uh, in the comments below what you think and if you would like any other tutorials about the rest of these pedals I have here. All right, thanks.